Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to add a portfolio filter gallery plugin in your WordPress website. <coughs> there are a lot of other plugins, uh, but I couldn't find uh, any a better solution for my problem, which was uh, when you click on the portfolio filter gallery, then when you click any category, then it shuffles and uh, it gets all the portfolio images for that particular category. But my problem is when uh, I wanted to click on a single portfolio page and I want it to appear in a light box with the uh, more details option. So I couldn't find uh, this plugin on uh, WordPress repository. I decided to make a plugin by myself. So uh, today's video uh, is based on uh, my plugin. And let me show you what I meant uh, by the light box. If you open this page on the front end, let's click on preview changes and uh, the same portfolio shuffle thing is working. But if you click on a single phone, then it will load the image, these project details and some description here. Now, for that, uh, first open your computer dashboard. So to install the plugin, First of all, you will have to need Elementor because it's an uh, Elementor extension. First, go to plugin, click on add new and install Elementor uh, plugin first. Type Elementor and press enter. Install Elementor. Currently, I have only three widgets for this Elementor add-on. But uh, I'm planning to add more and more widgets for uh, blogs and WooCommerce stores. But currently I have uh, these things for portfolio and uh, one WooCommerce grid. Click on activate for Elementor and uh, then <coughs> click on plugins and add new again. To add uh, my extension, click on WPP Elementor add-ons. This is uh, the name WPP Elementor add-ons. Click on install now. You can see this is uh, created by me and uh, I just check, uh, updated to the uh, latest version of WordPress. Okay, activate it once it's installed. Now you can see that there is a new menu called WPP Elements. You don't have to click here or anything else. Just uh, come to pages, click on add new, or you can uh, edit an existing page if you want to add that grid to the, the existing page. Uh, let's give it a title, portfolio. Most of the time we use uh, this plugin on home pages, but uh, let me build a new page and first publish it. Then click on edit with Elementor. Once the Elementor is loaded, you can scroll down to the WPP Elementor section, WPP All Elements. And these are the three elements I have right now. So first of all, you will add a row, but uh, you will not be able to see any portfolios because uh, we, not, we don't have uh, any portfolios yet. You will just see this grid. Now come to your dashboard. And in portfolio section, there is a custom post type built with this plugin. Click on add new and add our first uh, portfolio item, which is first item, let's say, and we will demo contents for this portfolio item. We will copy this. And let's just paste it to replicate the contents. And there are some fields. You can type field name, for example, project year, which is 2007, project manager, which is any name 
next one is project cost 3000 project location new york and we will add a portfolio item which is construction for example and we will assign it okay uh, now the image let's upload any image as a demo let's add some phone images it's just a demo so uh, doesn't matter what image we use set featured image for this post and publish now if you come to your front end and refresh the page or change any setting then you will see one portfolio item and a construction gallery now let's add a few more second item and paste the same description and let's choose the same fields which will save our time for this video and we will add a new gallery phones set featured image select another one and publish it similarly open new one this is third portfolio and we will add a description the same description and we will choose both categories and add a new one which will be um, electronics and we will disable this one uh, because we will add these two only same fields and a featured image okay let's add at least four of them fourth portfolio item same description electronics only set featured image publish now let's change some options uh, let's change tablet uh, tablet contents columns from three to four and you will be able to see four columns in one row now let's change the category electronics have two phone have one all have all so these are the things let's update the page and let me show you what I meant uh, by the light box if you open this page on the front end let's click on preview changes and uh, the same portfolio shuffle thing is working but if you click on a single phone then it will load the image these project details and some description here now how can we customize all these things you can change colors of this uh, these buttons you can change sizes you can change paddings uh, you can change column from four to three both on desktop and tablet and for mobile we will keep uh, one this is completely responsive grid if you refresh the preview you can see that there are three columns now for all things but uh, the light box will act the same now let's customize these buttons uh, click on style tab and then for the filter button front end color will be uh, blue and the button 2 color will be white let's say the hover color is white now okay it's good let's change this from blue to gray and it's working and if you click on uh, any item you can see that uh, this color also matches to this color and the same for this okay same for typography 
filter typography you can change fonts you can change font sizes and you can change weight of the fonts in the menu and you can transform it to the uppercase you can change text style normal italic and line height letter spacing etc and for the content field when you open a light box then you can change the content field by changing sizes from here similar for this one and you can change padding margins for uh, this whole box margins for this and padding from this you can also add motion effect fade in when uh, the page reloads okay now uh, we can um, add some title to this section let's add a basic title and name it as portfolio now we can customize the text you can change colors and then we will change the size where you think it's perfectly fine so uh, this is how you can add portfolio items and uh, you can add them as many as you want so uh, this was all for today's video i hope you learned something from this uh, please like this video and please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our future updates thank you